So I cut the I cut the video. And taken lightly. Shut up. Shit. Alright. Damage to him. Second wave. Any time now. The plan will claim you. Do you dream of me? Stagger his ass. Are you gonna let me actually do any like attacks while you're staggered, or are you just gonna be a bitch? It's over. That didn't do enough. Oh shit. Those things look like they suck. Bitch move. Go on. Here we go. I'll show you what I can do. It's your turn. Hey back. Nice. Stay back. I'll take care of them. Oh my. Can you not though? What oh, Go on. You'll feel better in a second. This time. Great. Just just I'm feeling Focus th thrust, man. Okay, so we got it. I think that was the th that might have been the tough part. Hopefully, give me a third person, man. Give me a third person. Give me Tifa or Barrett. 
Give me someone. I need a third person. Thank you. Let's summon Shiva first, you're right. Let's summon Shiva first, get her out here. Octa Slash. Oh shit. Okay, so you Phoenix down Cloud. Okay, up and at him. Oh, the memories. <laughs> oh man, Shiva was kinda quick. After you. So it's my turn? Phoenix down, Barrett. If I can just dodge you for another second, I'm gonna use my elixir on myself. Thanks. I 
actually, I want to cure. Since you fucked me last time. Can you steal from Seth Roth? Nothing to steal. myself seven what is seven right here we go Sephiroth defeated let's go baby Oh, there's Tifa. Shit. Do I have to fight him again by myself this time? Careful now. That which lies ahead does not yet exist. Our world will become a part of it one day. But I will not. Nor will I have you end. This is... The Edge of Creation. Ooh. Cloud, lend me your strength. Let us defy destiny together. Cinematic fight. Well, not as cool, but still pretty interesting. Seven 
seconds till the end. Time enough for you, perhaps. But what will you do with it? Let's see. Seven seconds until the end. What does that mean? Mr. Vice President. Mr. President. That's right. Okay, well, Zach took out all those dudes, I guess. I'm guessing. Wait. Was that all of them? The city? The city just blew up? I don't understand his part in all this, and I don't know enough of the story, the rest of the story to people to tell, you know? Yeah. Thank you. Interesting.
Whoa, Biggs is alive! Marlene is watering flowers. Sephiroth. As long as he's still out there, I... I thought you beat him. We can. We will. Count me in. To be a hunt, you could use a nose like mine. I'm in too. Bastard wants to destroy the whole planet, doesn't he? An enemy of hers is an enemy of Avalanche. Almost there, Cloud. We're almost there. Oh. I miss it. The steel sky. I would be lost drifting That's I mean, if I had the urge to clap, you know, I mean, it's a, that was a great, great game, um, great ending, although I'm not sure what the twist is, like, it seems like it's pretty standard to me, so I'm not sure, let me look it up here. See what the confusing ending explained is.
I was just trying to figure out what the ending of this game is so I can explain it in the video. Which I've done now. So, the this game, I think it's important to remember that this is a remake, right? And so, based on what I just read about everything, and, and to be fair, I don't know enough about Final Fantasy's storyline, Final Fantasy VII's storyline, completely to give you the whole thing, and I think that's going to throw off newer players. They're not going to know what's going on. Um, so, in Final Fantasy VII, there's a lot of things that happen. A lot of things, particularly, that happen in the end of the game that you find out that are not necessarily revealed in this game. Some, thing, some things I knew, some things I didn't know. Like, in the original, so we just saw Biggs live. In the original Final Fantasy VII, Biggs dies. Um... And so obviously that's different. Well, um, according to what I just read, so the whispers, they're and I don't, I didn't get this from the ending, so I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't paying close enough attention to it. But the ending with Cloud there in Sephiroth and Aerith alluded to there being multiple timelines, kind of like a back to the future thing right so things can happen in multiple dimensions almost like a marvel multiverse type of thing um and so the original final fantasy 7 is the main timeline and in this game the whisper it's it's an alternate timeline from that but the whispers are meant to try to keep everything on track so there were multiple times where things happened that were slightly different from the original and you saw the whispers come in and take care of that, right? So like when Barrett died, Barrett got stabbed. That's not part of the game. And it's just like kind of like an oh shit moment. Like you're, you're not expecting that. And then the whispers came in and the whispers saved him. And so the whispers are trying to keep everything on track with that original, with the original game kind of up until the very end. So there's little things that happen. You know, they're trying to shoot arrows off before the guards come, which is what happens in the original, a bunch of other stuff like that. So, that's all happening. The Whispers are keeping everything the same in line with the original game in terms of the storyline. Well, at the end of this game, we beat the Whisper guy, the main Whisper. And that allows us to change timelines a little bit. So, the big picture view is that going forward because it says the unknown journey well going forward for the next game the next two games next three games however many games this is going to go i imagine it's going to be a trilogy because that just makes the most sense um when you think about 
games and things you always want. You want groups of threes. You don't really want a four. Four just doesn't sit right. Four doesn't sit right with anything. You know, your mid beginning, middle, end is perfect for a, a any type of series. So going forward, what this opens up is it gives them freedom to change things about the storyline for the next two games or three games. It gives them freedom to say, you know, if a certain character is supposed to die or your path is supposed to divert in a certain way, like, it may not do that. It may be completely different now. And so that's important to remember going forward. Where that comes into play is with Zack. So I haven't played Final Fantasy Crisis Core, but Zack is the protagonist in Final Fantasy Crisis Core. And he is friends with Cloud. Obviously, we saw them there. In the lore of Final Fantasy VII, um, Zack and Cloud were together. Um, I don't want to spoil anything for the future, because obviously, we play one of the games of the future. They were together doing, you know, at a place, uh, doing some things, whether it was being soldier or, you know, somewhere else. And they got out together and they said, you know, fuck it, we're going to Midgar. Well, in Final Fantasy VII lore, he dies on the way to Midgar, and Cloud just somehow gets there. I'm not quite sure on the details there, but he dies before they get to Midgar. So, right there, that ending right there shows an alternate timeline where Zack makes it to Midgar with Cloud. Presumably he dies in that battle and then they take Cloud into custody or whatever and he gets out. What are the kids me? We don't know how I don't know how Cloud got to got there. But um yeah, so that's that's that. Um I thought it was a great game. I loved it. I thought there were parts of it that were just like I thought the pacing went up and down and I, I think that it the game itself and maybe it's just harder to do this. I mean, I don't know how I would have done it better. Um, but the game itself had stretches, which is like the really slow section. And then you go do something and then it build adds on another really slow section. Uh, like the Shinra building, when you first got in, it's like, okay, well, we're not going to fight anything. And we're going to go, you know, we're going to climb up the thing. And then we're going to go through this whole stealth section. Or like not really cell section, but just this whole history lesson section, and then we're gonna go down this whole like stealth section, you know, for five minutes following Hojo after we've gone through this whole history lesson section. It just it seemed like it was too long to me in term, in that sense, um, and it kind of dragged on. It that was the part of the game where I was just kind of like, let's just get this over with. So maybe maybe five hours too long in that sense. Um. Maybe not even that. Maybe two or three hours too long in that right there. And it also threw a bunch of story at you right at the end. So, like, it kind of brings it all together, but it kind of doesn't. And it's kind of, obviously, with this cliffhanger, I didn't know I had to look it up. Like, that's really confusing. And I understand they're going for a certain audience. That's fine to me. That's fine. I don't have any problems with that. But I thought that maybe throwing in, like, that lady, the blonde lady, or I think she was blonde, maybe, the extra lady, Rufus, President Shinra, like, get those guys, we saw Heidegger, the whole game, like, watching them, and then at the end of the game, Heidegger's, like, barely in it, and so he's not even, like, that, that's frustrating, too, because, like, okay, you gave me this whole character, but, like, what? <laughs> what just happened? So, you know, there's no resolution there. And I get it, you move on to the next game, he's in the next game, that's fine, but um, then at the very end, you throw Heidegger, Zack. Um, we saw Kate Sith for a little bit. Um, we may have seen another character, I don't know who it is, um, but um, from the series, like, we saw all those guys briefly, President Jr. briefly at the end. And I think if you had built them up a little bit earlier in the storyline, I think the ending might not have dragged as much. See right there, that's Kate Sith. I'm pretty sure that's Kate Sith. 
but that's see then again like okay why even put that in there if that's the only mention of him the entire game why even put him in there so anyways um that'll do it for me uh i'm not gonna finish watching the credits because i have to go wake up my daughter and get her ready for a bunch of stuff but thanks for watching i appreciate it um i really appreciate everything tonight we're gonna play detention and get that going so yeah just thanks for watching i appreciate it and i'll catch you guys all next time thanks for going on this journey with me bye